friends. I hope you had an awesome Easter. Like I said in my video, I have no Easter books um, at my house. My goodness, that's crazy. But I found um, this book. It's called Bunny My Honey. And my mom used to read it to me when I was a little girl. And I haven't read it since my mom read it to me when I was in grade one. So I'm going to read it to you. And I hope you enjoy it. Bunny My Honey. Mummy Rabbit had a baby. His name was Bunny. He looked just like his mum, but only smaller. Look at how cute he is. He had long ears, a twitchy nose, and great big feet. Bunny my honey, Mummy Rabbit liked to call him. Mummy Rabbit showed Bunny how to do special rabbity things like running and hopping digging and twitching his nose, and thumping his great big feet. Sometimes, Bunny played with his best friends, like Duckling and Miss Mouse. They played quacky quack games, squeaky squeak games, and thumpity thump games. They sang, we're little honeys, a little honey is sweet, quack quack squeak squeak thump your big feet. And you can see little duck and mouse and bunny. If a game ever ended in tears, as games sometimes do, Mummy Rabbit made it better. Don't cry, my little honeys, Mummy Rabbit said. I'm right here. Mummy Rabbit is so nice. But one day, Bunny got lost. Oh, how could such a bad thing happen? Perhaps it was a game that went wrong. Perhaps Bunny went too far on his own. And you can see the picture kind of gives us a clue about how Bunny got lost. He's following that dragonfly. But there he was, just one lost bunny. You can see from the picture how he's feeling. Maybe a little scared, maybe a little sad, worried. The more Bunny looked for his friends and his mummy, the more lost, and the more lost, the more lost he became. Bunny started to cry. Mom, Mom, I want my mom. Bunny, my honey, what was that? Bunny, my honey. You can see him hearing something. Oh, there's no words on this page, but can you spy something that might make? Here's maybe my baby bunny, and then we have some ears over here. Bunny, my honey, mommy. Mommy Rabbit picked up Bunny and cuddled him. She stroked his long ears, she put her twitchy nose on his twitchy nose, and she kissed his great big feet. Bunny's ears and nose and his feet felt warm all over. And you can see how they feel so happy. I love you, Mommy Bunny whispered. I love you, Bunny, my hummy, honey, Bunny's mom whispered back. And I love my other honeys, too. And you could see little Miss Mouse and little Duck for other honeys. On the way home, Bunny, Miss Mouse, and little Duckling sang their song. Where the honey is, a little honey is sweet. Quack, quack, squeak, squeak, thump your great big feet. And Bunny was a happy rabbit. And that's the end of Bunny My Honey. I hope it got you in the mood to write about Easter. I want to hear all about your Easter. Um, so for writing today, I would love to see a beautiful picture about what you did and writing about what you did this weekend. Um, I normally get together with so much of my family, but because of everything, I couldn't get together. So I was at my house, and what we did, it was so fun. We had a big uh, video chat with everybody in my family. There was 23 people 
That was crazy. So my grandma, my grandpa, my all of my cousins, my brother, my mom and my dad, my aunties, my uncles, we all got on the computer and we got to visit and that made me feel so happy. So I hope that you did something that made you feel happy this weekend. Um, I did a little bit of, I didn't color it because again, it's on my whiteboard, but I drew some like a video with a bunch of faces on my computer and I wrote for Easter I did a video chat with my family so that's what I did I would love to hear what you did so send me in pictures of your writing or type it out on Seesaw and um, I hope to hear about something that made you smile this weekend and um, I bet you hearing about it will make me smile okay so have a good day enjoy your writing and I'll talk to you soon